Alright, it's 1515 and I'm just getting off work and I'm gonna go by uh by Home Depot and pick up a Timex soon. But I don't know if I should go today because it's 103. It said 108 when I first got in the trunk and now it's saying it's 103. I put on the forum that I posted, you know, what can I do to keep uh to keep uh bubbles out of my out of my 1708 and and George came back uh, uh wood on glass posted and tp posted too i think tp's name is ted if i'm not mistaken they all posted and gave me some really good tips george said to lay your 1708 down on a piece of cardboard and with the chop strand side up wet it out and then put it on you know wherever you want it so i think i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna try uh i'm gonna start off with um I'm gonna start off with uh, TP's idea first. Hey, hey! Wanna be famous? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna start off with TP's idea first and filling up the resin. Oh, these are the these are Dollar Tree trays. You get two for a dollar, so that's a pretty good deal. My camera mount that I kept on having to tape uh, back in my studio days, this was a little clip that you clip, you clip uh, your little music or whatever to the thingamabob right there to the arm. Anyway, I converted it and I'm using it now to, to hold my phone, which was by just happened to take 720 video so anyway this piece kept coming off so scott had some epoxy he gave me some epoxy and i epoxied it it's supposed to be tacked up in five minutes and totally dried in an hour i don't know if i'm gonna wait that long it seems like it's on there I'm gonna, but it's gonna take me a little more while to get set up so anyway that's where oh i went by home depot too and i picked up man these these rollers are the truth they're a uh, quarter inch nap they're shred uh shred resistant and so far, out of, out of everything I've tried, I like these the best. And I think you get the most bang for your buck. I think you get, you get six rollers for like, I think it's like nine, eight or nine bucks, I think. I have to, I have to check my receipt. Uh, but anyway, that's where I stand. I'm about to mix up a batch and try out uh, TP's uh, method. Oh, and one more thing before I get going. Uh, Wood on Glass was saying to, um, once I, he, he must have been referring to once my tabbing, once my, oops, shit, once my tabbing is all done, he was saying I can, uh, once my tabbing is all done, I can lay one piece across that hole. Oh man, sweat in my eye, Jesus. Okay, let me start over. Wood on Glass was saying that once everything is tabbed in, I can, he was telling me how to lay one piece over everything, which really, in theory, you know, sounds really good. Um, I'm not sure, with me being a first time fiberglasser and it being like 105 degrees today, I don't know. I'm gonna tab in the, tab in, I'm gonna tab in that piece and attempt maybe to tap in the transom and see how I feel after that. Whether I feel adventurous or not enough to, 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 uh, lay 1708 a, 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 around the whole transom. And, and I'll give you Wood on, wood on Glasses recommendation for that when I get there. But for now, uh, I'm gonna use TP's, uh, method to tap in that side piece. Oh, so here we go. One more thing, I set a stringer out so that in the event I have leftover resin when I'm setting up the, uh, that side piece. I can use the leftover resin to uh, waterproof just the sides of the stringer. I'm not going to waterproof the end grain because I haven't cut this yet to, uh, I haven't cut it to the contour of the, the hole and really got a good, good fit on it. But I can, any leftover resin, I can treat the sides. So that's what I'll be doing with my stringer if there's any leftover resin. I'm, I'm trying to cut, cut waste because I done ran way over budget on what I wanted to spend. Uh, <laughs> really not wanting to spend nothing <laughs> and then spending what I have. I mean, I'm trying to just cut every little cut every little corner that I can to try to save a little money like for instance getting uh getting these things from the, these are perfect little mixers to get for your peanut butter because what you can do you can measure out your resin in your regular old cup and then dump the resin into here and then use this as your peanut butter these are only a dollar and I think these are more than a dollar I'm not sure uh, plus plus you get a double batch if you needed a double batch you could also use something like this for your peanut butter if you were doing uh, a big batch that, that would be perfect okay School bus has become a surrogate table for the time being until I can get it, uh, get all that, that paint taken off there and do it right. Oh, for you big guys, the, this is an HDX, uh, HDX, um, uh, Tyvek suit. And I already got a blue, a blowout. Already. She had it on 10 minutes, got a blowout. So the Scotts brand seems like it's a little bit bigger. And there's no 3X, so unless I order some 3Xs off mine, uh, yeah, the Scots is a little bit big. This one's a little snug. This is the HDX.
Okay. We're gonna mix up the batch and then uh, come in here and come in here and lay this uh, lay this down.
Okay. Apparently I didn't get, uh, I didn't understand all of the uh, TP's directions, because I know it should have came out better than this. It's about the same as the other side. So I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try George's method on the transom. I should be using a chip brush to like push it down too. That's another thing. So I think I should be using a, t a chip brush to like push it down maybe. I don't know. I thought, man, TP's method seem uh, pretty good. But I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't miss. I missed something. I must have missed something. <laughs> something in the translation. So I'm going to do uh, George's method on the transom. So here we go. Let me go mix up a batch. I want to... Uh, them scissors are ruined. I'm gonna throw that, I'm gonna throw this whole thing out. I wanted to, uh, build up my, uh, this peanut butter right here at the bottom. So it make, like, a little, uh, a little ramp up, you know, so it's not, like, a, a deal right there. So, I'm gonna mix up, I'm gonna do that real quick. And then I'll be ready to, uh, do the transom. I got an idea. Since I mixed it up light, this is going to be my peanut butter. But before I put the stuff in, I'm going to see if I can save some of these air bubbles. I got some regular regular resin right here with a regular brush. Because I think these white spots are just where where uh, it didn't get enough resin maybe. And let me use a, I'm going to use a stiffer. I got two of them. I got one that's stiffer. See how that one works. Finish mixing this up to finish this peanut butter. And I'm gonna have to really work fast. And it's hard to see when the sun. I, I got these two canopies on here, over here, and so when the sun goes down, it starts to black out to where you can't really see. This side, the left side, using TP's method came out, I think, better than that method. But it still isn't. I know I wasn't doing something right. I, I know I'm, I miss miss. Uh, I didn't get all of the instructions. I didn't really understand. I think what TP was saying. Don't get me wrong. It, it, it's not bad. It's just that I'm mad. I'm not a perfectionist. Well, maybe I just like to do stuff right and get it done as nicely as, as I can get it. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm funny that way. But I got, I got one more chance. Hey, the most, you know, these two pieces are above waterline. So it's not, I'm not really too worried about it. It's a learning experience. You know, I'm not, I'm only going, I think I'm only going to do one tab for the outside pieces, one tab, and then one cover piece. And then cover the whole thing with a piece, I think. I don't know. If you guys got any suggestions for... Uh, covering after I get everything tabbed in, let me know. I'm, I'm open to it. I know Wood was saying do one big piece or two big pieces. I think is what he suggested to cover the whole the whole transom. Um, I'm down for that. If anybody got any other ideas, let me know. Okay, thanks guys. Oh, thanks George. Thanks Wood and uh, thanks TP. Uh, George, I'm gonna use your method uh, tomorrow to tab in the transom. We'll see how it goes. Okay, peace.